guys, it is me, and we are about to venture into thrift store world. I am in my car, as you can see. Um, looking like a hot mess, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Dirty glasses, too. This always happens. I get dirty stuff when I'm on my, like, on my camera. Whatever. So, I'm waiting at a left turn light right now. Jam into some backseat by New Boys, I guess. Jamming. So, yeah. So, you ready to get this started? Because I am. So, I will see you in a bit. Hey guys, so we are at the Goodwill store. Oh, what the world is going on? Don't be backing up into my car! Okay. Goodwill Select store and donation center and then there's the donation center right 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 right, right there <laughs> I am the sense of direction and so yeah we're about to go in there okay yay bye bye alright so we're inside the store right now and yeah I'm just gonna walk down an aisle of blue and give you guys like an overview of what is here and um the pricing that they have here and um yeah we'll see what is in here normally i don't shop here but i just wanted to show what is here in this format of this store so at the end they have purses different kinds of purses and um, up front, they have shoes on top of the shelf. And hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> and um, what I like about the stores, they, um, they, they store everything by colors. So let me go down and show you. It's like, look, white, khakis, pink, red, green, taupe, blues, blue jeans, blue jeans, blue jeans, khaki pants, brown pants, and black pants. Um, Skidwell is a nicer place, so they have like, um, oh, eh, like, wow, that's really expensive. It's, you know, like, look, there's still tags on some of these clothes. It's amazing. Um, uh, and they're all priced at the end of the end cap. That's the thing about Goodwill, is that there's really, like, no, um, they don't just price it. They have, like, set pricing. So that's something I don't like. Again, lady shorts, pants, and skirts. Here's the shoes. So every shelf has like different things. And so, yeah. If this is all you have, it's still great. You can still get some pretty designer stuff for um, a low price. But definitely, um, yeah. Again, why they're here is it is a great organization to shop at and um, give people jobs. So that's my little overview of Goodwill, but we're going to go to the place that I used to shop at. So I'll see you in a bit over there. Hey you guys, so I'm sitting in my car again and I'm about to go into my favorite thrift store. I have another one, but it's not as close as this one is. And so yeah, we're about to walk in. I'm a little nervous. I hope I don't get caught. Um, and so yeah, if I do, I will definitely show you what I got, what I didn't get. but. Well, I can't show you what I didn't get because if I got, if I did it, yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in here. In case you live in Houston or if Houston surrounding area, it's called the Family Thrift Center. And what they do here is they do the exact same thing as Goodwill. I don't know, obviously, because they have to run shops. They obviously offer jobs. There are cashiers here. And um, number two, 
um, is that a part of their um, donation money profits go to the Texas chapter of the Paralyzed Veterans of America, which is a great organization. My family has donated to that organization before, and it is just a great um, charity for um, veterans that need our help and support that served our country. So, yeah. Um, so let's get inside and I'll see you on the inside. You guys, we're inside right now and I just wanted to go down and show you the china that they have. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. They have a lot of different things. Some Christmas china. Um, my drink. <laughs> and then a whole aisle of baskets. This place is huge. This used to be a, a Hobby Lobby. Yeah, and then it shut down because there was a lot of Hobby Lobby closures. Actually, not really. What happened was um, they had a, they made a bigger one. Um, so this one has dolls, dolls, baby dolls, monuments, um, kids' room stuff. Other porcelain type stuff. And so, uh, yeah. Um definitely a lot to see here and a lot to shop for and maybe we'll do another section today so I just wanted to give you a brief tour of what there is around here there's even like look a diaper changing table I mean yeah there is like a chair here but you could always um, replace it redo it and look it's Fourteen fifty one. It's amazing what you can find here. A lot of stuffed animals. Look, it's this is who I found. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. And um, now with these, I definitely recommend that if you purchase them, definitely stick them in the washer and dryer. It won't hurt them for the most part. And um, they'll be good to go again to give life to these stuffed animals again. Unless your child is highly allergic to them, then just don't. Um, yeah. Pillows. For here. Lots and lots of accent pillows. Look how cute this pillow is. Again, you could just definitely um, stick this in the dryer. It's good to go. Over here, sheets, um, baby toys. And this right here is just the wall of like little baby toys, beanie babies, stuff like that that they put in bags and they price it from a couple dollars to like five bucks. Down here, it's still pretty light traffic right now, so I'm able to take you guys down and show you what is here. Suitcases. Um, this isn't a quick trip. This is something you have to have at least I would say at least an hour for it, even if you're just looking for clothes. And the lines are pretty long as well, too. So, um, what is this? Herb growing thing. Just regular herbs. Not that kind of herb. Look, Big Bird is here. Dora. Care Bears. Um,. Elmo, another Care Bear. There's all sorts of some stuff is here. You 
that's why I tell you you have to get um, right now they're having twenty percent off Valentine's Day. There's a whole tea section and then I'm just gonna walk down. Whole mess of books. Small kitchen appliances. Hmm. Foggy things. And here's all the Valentine's Day stuff. Today's the 19th, so Valentine's Day is over. And look who I found. She's coming with me. Um, definitely. She looks so clean. I don't know how much she is. It doesn't really say. Maybe. She it, so. Hello. Tree bird. Um. And so. Yeah. Easter's on its way, so. You can go buy Easter baskets here. Definitely. They thought. So let's go on to the clothes, okay? See you over there. Okay, so right now we're in the yellow section, and um, hopefully people don't look at me too crazy. So we're going to start going through this. One thing I wanted to point out was there's so many, like, brand names. Like, look, this is a brand new Charlotte Ruth. It's $9.59, so I definitely am advocate buying it for it. You could probably buy this for $5 brand new there. But they have things like Ann Taylor Loft. And I mean all sorts of stuff. Here's a cool one. Say where'd they go? This is Ann Taylor Loft again. It was marked with three ninety three, now it's four ninety one. Looks like that. It has little short sleeves. Very cute. Uh, unfortunately, not my size. So I will show you what it is. So, let's go as well. Just a lot of fun brands. I wish I could go farther. Um, when I find something, I will definitely show you.